Howdy, friends. I just wanted to show you the new G Wizard Conversational CNC Surfacing Wizard. Conversational CNC is an add on product to our G Wizard G Code Editor and Simulator. And what it does is it makes it really easy for you to answer a few questions and generate G code from those questions. Uh, the idea is to short circuit for really simple tasks the whole CAD CAM process. You don't have to go make a drawing and convert that to G-code using your CAM program. You can just fire up one of our conversational wizards and immediately get some G-code back. So let's take a look at how that works. Here's G-Wizard Editor and we just released uh, the uh, surfacing wizard in version 1.018 so make sure you have that one downloaded or, or a later one if you want to try it and uh, this series of blue buttons right here are the various different kinds of wizards uh, that are available in the G-Wizard editor for creating G-code and uh, the first six of them along the left here are just built into the product and they do things like uh, make it easy for you to, to look up and figure out what the right uh, additional parameters are for G&M codes feeds and speeds which is integrated with our G-Wizard calculator feeds and speeds uh, program, tool changes, so on and so forth. The conversational wizards though are here and they'll change depending on whether you have a, a mill or a, a lathe. We have uh, so far we have the whole wizards and here's the new surfacing wizard. So the surfacing wizard supports three different style tool paths. It'll either zigzag back and forth, uh, which as we're noting here is, is the best tool path for, from a speed standpoint if you just want to uh, get the top of a workpiece surface quickly. Uh, climb milling always goes in the same direction uh, which will give you the best surface finish. And then lastly we kind of have a, a radial that spirals out uh, that kind of gives you kind of the best of both worlds and it's a good approach to use if you have for example a round piece of stock. So to use the wizard you select a toolpath style. Let's start with zigzag. Uh, tell us your width and height. The assumption is that part zero is the lower left corner of the area that you're going to surface so this width and height starts at a zero zero in the lower left. Uh, this is the diameter of your tool. I've uh, got a two inch uh, face mill teed up here. This is your uh, step over, um, percent tool diameter, uh, spindle RPM, 500 RPM, feed rate, plunge feed. You can calculate all of those with our uh, uh, feeds and speeds calculator. Your depth that you would like to go down to, how far you want to go roughing, and a finish allowance if you want to make a finishing pass. So having answered those questions you just hit the insert button and here you get a, a bunch of g-code and it's commented with the original arguments that you uh, gave the program and, and a bunch of information make it easy for you to follow it. Uh, you can see we do uh, several things that are very useful. For example we arc into the cut which is something that uh, uh, really can help improve the tool life of your, uh, uh, your inserts. It's a recommendation by Sandvik among others. Uh, and we continue this arcing process uh, for each one of the passes. So it's a it's a it's a high quality toolpath that's being generated. Um, let's try another one. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll just select all and delete. And uh, this time around, let's uh, go ahead and plug in a climb milling cut. And uh, again, same sort of thing. Only this time, as you can see, we're gonna arc in, we're going to go across, we're going to lift off and come back and arc in again each time. So it's always cutting in the same direction. It's a climb mill cut uh, to give you the best surface finish. And then uh, lastly we can uh, uh, come in here and uh, choose the radial uh, tool path. See what that looks like. And it's again it's just it's a straightforward uh, it's real similar to helical interpolation. We're going to go ahead and and uh, do the initial cut here based on the diameter of the tool and then we'll spiral out and uh, it, we have a finish allowance in the whole nine yards. So that's the new surfacing wizard. It makes it really easy for you to put together a, a high quality surfacing tool path. You get a piece of material surface before you're ready to machine it 
and uh, we hope you like it. Thanks very much.